Okay, I'm gonna. This is probably going to be a heavily edited video. This is the Panasonic SJ MJ80, and uh, while I can get it working on the internal battery, on the gumstick battery, should I say, even though the battery is fairly well charged, watch what happens when it tries to read, even though there's no disc in it. It's just a Okay, so the battery level, that's what you should be looking at. It appears that there's no, the battery's flat now. And it says no disc, because there is no disc in it. But when it's under load, I'm gonna turn it off. I don't think I can. Let's put a disc in it. There we go. So now what's the battery indicator on the top right hand side? is going to low or no battery. And I think what that is, as the motors are spinning within the disc, within the player, it's drawing a lot of power from the battery. The battery isn't fully charged, but it's almost fully charged. And I've got this with my, one of my other Panasonic ones as well. I guess they need to draw a lot of power from these 1.2 volt batteries. And it, um, it was working at one point, but now it cannot read the disc. But when it was working, it was only working with one of these attached. So let's just try it again. This is the external 1.5 volt battery adapter. You see now the battery is now um, showing as a much better um, voltage going. I think it's based on voltage. So it looks as if it's going through there a bit better now. But now it's not reading the disc, and it was reading the disc before. So, yeah, I can hear it. Can you hear it? So, what I'm going to do in this video is just shoot the video of me trying to fix this by taking it to pieces and see if there's any corrosion on the board, which I might be able to remove. I haven't got my soldering iron. I really wanted to get a soldering iron from a company in Germany, and I was looking at it before Brexit. And uh, it wasn't very expensive. I think it was about £25. It was a USB soldering iron. And I really wanted to buy it, and I didn't. And now we're out of Europe. We've got to pay import duty on it as well, which we wouldn't have had to do in Europe. And if you have to pay import duty, you also have to pay for the courier to collect the import duty. And therefore they have a handling fee as well. And I think that will put the price up from about 25 or 26 pounds. No peace for the wicked. As we're saying, now I've got to pay import duty and the fee for the delivery company to handle the collection and paying of the import duty on my behalf. Uh, and the VAT, I think, is added on as well. It pretty much doubles the cost of the uh, USB solder iron. So I think I'm just going to stick to my traditional old soldering iron that been in my still in my garage that I've got unearthed at some point and bring in. So I think reflowing some of the solder on this, judging by this screw, this has already been taken to pieces before. So if I can reflow the solder on this, then it might mean that the there is less resistance running through those joints that might have been corroded by the battery. So anyway, what I'm going to do on this video is just going to shoot the whole video. I'm not going to jibber jabber on. I'll try and keep it all in shot while I look around the camera. And I'll see if I can clean up the circuit board. And I'll put some nice music on and uh, you can enjoy me attempting to get this working properly again.
check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Sound right, boy.
So there we have it. I think I'll call it a fix. I think what was happening is these batteries aren't very fully charged. Let's turn the volume down. <laughs> Better make sure the buttons are working, yeah. I've had this with my other Panasonics, i.e. this one, that had, had some battery corrosion. And what I think it is, is the 1.2 volt batteries, unless they're really fully charged, don't provide enough amps of 1.2 volt to run the player. So these are the ones, I thought these were all charged. These are the ones I've got out of my spares box. And the battery in here, on its own, should run at 1.5 volts. That's why that works, but these gumstick ones don't. But I think once I've charged up these batteries fully, I think we'll, uh, this now will now work on the uh, gumstick batteries, which is quite a result because it was sold as not working. And now I've got to, all I've got to do is think about what I'm going to do about all this scratching on here. I might just use this as my daily plier that I don't mind if I stick it in my pocket and I lean back on my chair and it falls out of my pocket, it crashes to the ground. Because it cost me about um, less than £16, including the remote, which I could probably sell the remote for about £20 on eBay if the player broke. So a little bit of hard work, a little bit of cleaning. And we've got another player resurrected from the dead. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because we've got a few more videos in the works and uh, check the description box for links uh, which you might be interested in. So thanks very much.